Hey guys, it's Nina Nevsky from Worship Piano Tutorials, and I want to show you how to play the song Reckless Love by Bethel. Such a beautiful song, and the introduction looks like this. So very deep notes here, um, playing G sharp minor, F sharp, E, and I'm playing it inverted, B, instead of playing it like this, I'm playing it like that. Um, the reason why I'm not playing the B up here, because it is like really low notes throughout the introduction, so I don't want to like end it off with like a, like a high, but you could, you could use the regular B, so just really simple a G sharp minor F sharp then E and B and so you play that through twice left hand is just one finger really easy and then you go into the verse and the verse chords are uh, G sharp minor F sharp and E so um, after the introduction before I spoke one you were singing continuing the E a little bit just really softly like in between the lines I don't know if you notice so before I took a breath you breathed your life in me so see I'm kind of continuing it you have been so so kind to me so um you repeat that again so the same thing quietly keeping that E rhythm. So really simple. And then going into the chorus, your chords are uh, same as introduction. So you have G sharp minor, F sharp, E, and then a B. So here I'm gonna be playing the B up here because it doesn't have to be super low. So um, after the verse, going into the chorus, it's just pretty easy. So you have been so so kind to me. Oh, the overwhelming, never-ending, reckless love, of God. Oh, it chases. instrumental um, so the chorus um, just very slow you might want to start it off really quiet so overwhelming never ending reckless love of God oh it chases me down fights to love so you might want to just add a little bit more bass throughout the you know as the lines progress just add a little bit more bass if you want to build up you know, for example, especially for I couldn't earn it. I couldn't earn it. I don't deserve it. So you give yourself away. So this is a lot stronger than how I started with. Um, and then when you end the first chorus, you have an instrumental after that that consists of the same chords. And it looks like this. Reckless love. such a beautiful instrumental guys like I really fell in love with it but um pretty much what I'm doing with my right hand is I'm playing um B so which is a third of G minor 
it really makes sense in this case. So I'm playing B with my right hand and it's sort of like a third of G sharp. So I kind of like to think about it, you know, you're going to be playing a third of G sharp, then a third of F sharp, a third of E, and then a third of B. So if you think about it that way, it's going to be easier for you to remember. The chords that you're playing, you're just playing their third the first time around. So for example. So with my left hand, I already switched to F sharp, but with my right hand, I'm a little laggy. So look. So again, I'm going to do that first part. G sharp minor. So right hand. B, B. So that's the first time around. Um, second time around, you're going to be playing this. So um, it goes like this. So again, right hand. So all together with my right hand and, and left, it'll look like this. Right after that instrumental, you go into that verse two. And verse two is really similar as verse one, so you're just playing through that, uh, those chords, the G sharp minor, F, E. Um, and then when you're done with that, you go into the chorus again. And the second chorus, it's gonna be a little um, louder. So for example, um, You have been so, so kind to me. see where the piano is going at it's really strong so what makes it strong is the bass so i'm literally you know so watch my left finger so it's literally hitting on that bass really often right hand is like But that's like the loudest that I could get, you know, so maybe I would want to start off with playing just the bass like this. And then build up. So what I just did was. You could start off your bass like that and then build up. This is, of course, if you're playing just keyboard. If you have like a whole ba band with a bass, you could, you know, just focus on playing the keys and the bass will worry about the build up <laughs> and the drums. Um, so as soon as you're done with this chorus, this really quiet part and and so um, you go into the bridge and um, the chords of the bridge are exactly the same as the chorus so no need to change anything it's a really easy song and then uh bridge so there's no shadow you won't light up mountain you won't climb up coming after me there's no wall you won't kick down a lie you won't tear down coming after me no 
Really calm. And then the lattice that you get is, you know, when the voice gets loud, you want to play the bass like this. So, I'm coming after me. There's no shadow. You know, as soon as the vocalist goes high, you just go all the way with the bass and uh, right hand. So making it really loud. Um, and then after that, you're free to go wherever you want. You go back to the chorus and go back to the bridge. Whew, that was a nice vocal warm up. <laughs> Such a beautiful song, guys. Um, let me know what you're up to if you're in a band or if you just play for fun. I love meeting people on YouTube. We have such a great community that always comments, and I love reading every single comment, guys. Um, I also have this vote thing up on my website where you could vote for the next tutorial, so go ahead and check that out because I love to do the tutorials that you guys want to see next. All right, guys, I'll see you on my next video. Bye.